We live, baby. What's going on, y'all? Hey, man, I was just reading this doggone Jalopnik article about the Ford Mustang GT500, man. And if y'all know anything, everybody's been talking about it. It's supposed to be the Hellcat, the Demon Killer, all this good stuff, man. I know y'all been watching, talking about Venom kills demons, all that nonsense, man. So the picture was, I guess, leaked. Somebody's Instagram, they leaked it, talking about, you know, this is the new GT500. Please sell me this car, all that good stuff, man. I'm looking at it, though. I don't really like it, to be honest with you. Yeah, he said, let's see, real too real. Hey, man, say, man, <laughs> it's your boy, man. I don't know. It's kind of ugly to me, but again, this is a leaked picture on Instagram, so take that for what it's worth, but it's got big old catfish mouth, man. Why is the front so big? Like, what are they doing? And I mean, I'm a fan of the new Mustang. I like the, the way it looks, but they got this big ass front like on it. Like it's just gonna like what is what is it supposed to be? Is it supposed to be a drag car or a race car or what, man? I don't know. Like I feel like they have kind of lost track. Is it supposed to be a ZL1 competitor, Camaro, or is it supposed to be a demon killer? Is it supposed to be a Hellcat killer. And then I'm looking at the picture, man. It looks like it's got like at least 305 wide tires all the way around. So that lets me kind of think that they're trying to make it like a, uh, a road course racer, like not a drag strip, strip racer. So this, this Jalopnik article says that it's supposed to have, or rumors say that it's supposed to have more than 700 horsepower. They're saying that it's supposed to have about 720, but rumors have gone as high as 770, which... 770 horsepower is not bad. 743 pound feet of torque. It just depends on how much it weighs. So if it's under 4,000 pounds, which I don't think it will be, uh, but let's say hypothetically it's 3,900, 4,000 pounds, then 770 horsepower is going to make it faster than a, a, a demon. Like just that weight savings alone is going to make it faster than a demon. It's definitely going to be faster than a Hellcat because Hellcats are what, 4,500? give or take 4,600 maybe. Uh, then you add in a driver, all that good stuff. But I, I'm i still in the camp of like, I'm not interested. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna get hyped up for it because it doesn't seem like it's gonna be much. Like 770 horsepower is a rumor, which means it can be anything. Knowing Ford, it'll probably, probably be less, man. Ford, I mean, aside of the previous GT500, which kind of shocked a lot of people with its horsepower number, Ford doesn't really do like big horsepower stuff like that, man. They, you know, normally it's GM or, you know, Dodge or whatever that comes out with crazy high horsepower cars. You know, what is the, the ZL1 Camaro is what, 650? So I'm not thinking that they're gonna do too much higher than that. I always say maybe about 710 is where they would be at. <laughs> it's supposed to be bullshit. That's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, probably. Big facts. Big facts. You know, it is Ford we're talking about, man. So, you know, I don't want to I don't want to go too deep into my uh, my dislike for Ford, man. But Ford is normally, man, you know what I'm saying, found on the road, dead, all that good stuff, man. You got all the little stuff. Not too much on Ford, though. They're 130 horsepower off. Yeah, I mean, if you're talking about trying to beat a demon, but you got to remember is it don't weigh as much as a demon. So they can get away with less than 800 horsepower and probably be okay. Because you got what? You got um, the Coyote Mustangs out there with the 10-speed automatic, just regular GT Mustangs with maybe a Whipple or something like that, pushing out 800, and they're pretty quick. They're still not demon beaters, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, I really don't think that you know, 770 is even going to be able to do it, man. I think they need at least a baseline of 800. Like, if they can't do 800, they don't have a chance to touch a demon. Now, most of the four boys, like, when this comes out and it doesn't have 800 horsepower, they're going to be like, well, the demon was a one-year-only car. The demon not even made no more. It don't matter, blah, blah, blah. You know they're going to come with all the excuses, you know. I think it'll still be faster than a red-eye Hellcat just because it will, it hopefully won't weigh as much. Looking at the picture though, man, 
I mean, it's kind of ugly, man. That's just my personal opinion. Looks are subjective to everybody. Plus, this is an Instagram picture. You can't see the whole car. Maybe it looks better in person. Blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. You know, all the excuses you want to make for it. But all they did was just make the front, the nose bigger. It's just big and wide up front, man. Like, and it looks like they added some larger tires. Yeah, I put it on the thumbnail, but like, just go to Jalop Jalopnik's website or auto blog they got it up and it it looked like a um it looked like a homemade body kit man it looks like somebody just <laughs> took a regular gt and put like a body kit on it and it's not wide body or anything it's got a big old spoiler out the back which lets me know they're not trying to drag race ford is not you know unless you're doing the cobra jet stuff Ford is not trying to drag race like, this is not going to be a drag racer's car. That's what I'm saying. A 770 horsepower is a lot, but it's, it's not going to be a demon killer or even a red eye killer. Red eye Hellcat still probably going to hold it down, you know, in the place of the demon because Ford ain't ready. Ford is not trying to do that, man. I think they're trying to beat, or probably when they were developing this car, it's probably too late now. When they were developing this car, they were probably targeting the Camaro. They were probably targeting the Camaro Z01 because they knew that Camaro was going to come out with the Z06 motor, and that's what they were targeting. What's up, Michael Corleone, man? I tell you, man, notification squad, man. Michael Corleone, I can always count on you to hold it down, man, and give your boy some likes. Type the guy on Instagram for the viewers. What does it say? Let me see, man. You know, I'm on my phone, bro. I can't be doing all this multitasking, man. Yeah, I can't even. It won't even let me pull it up. Hold on. Hold up, Watts. <laughs> I have to, let me go on this laptop real quick, man. Laptop, laptop. Let me see. But yeah, man, Ford ain't with all that. Ford, I don't think Ford cares, to be honest with you. We know Chevy doesn't care, because Chevy's like, man, we in a whole different, like we're road course racing, man. We trying to set Nurburgring and Laguna Seca and you know, all that stuff. They don't care, but. Let me see if I can type this in here for y'all, man. While I'm on this Wi-Fi lit gang, gang, gang. Yeah, 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 yeah. I put it in there, man. For sure. For sure. Real too real. Hey, man. If y'all new to the channel, y'all just now watching, man. Hit me with some likes. Make sure you check out my boy Real Too Real, Michael Corleone, man. Those are the real gang notification members. They always show me love, man. Let me see if I can get in here and type real quick, man, while it's loading up. But yeah, I was. To recap, you know, I'm talking about the Jalopnik. Uh, looks like it's a uh, looks like somebody gonna get in trouble. Looks like they weren't supposed to actually post that picture. Uh, Steel Blue Body, what's up, boy? Gang, gang. Looks like they weren't supposed to post that picture. I'm pretty sure that they were embargo not to post anything, but somebody has let it slip out, man. Or maybe it was Ford. Maybe Ford trying to build the hype for the car. Cause they keep seeing everybody on live streams talking about it. it's not going to be a real car for not doing a GT 500, blah, blah, blah. So maybe they're trying to get in front of it. So yeah, I'm good, bro. I'm good, man. How about you, brother? Let me type in here real quick. Like where's all my stuff going, man. But I'm looking at the picture. Like it's kind of, it's like off to the side. It's sinister underscore lifestyle on, uh, on Instagram, and the way they got the the picture like framed up, it looks like they were right in front of the presentation. So if they were there, other people had to see them taking pictures of this. Like normally, when you go to press events and you get embargo, they normally take your phone. Like you're not supposed to have any uh, phones, no cameras, no nothing when you come in because they normally will come. Uh, or they'll, they'll invite you in, they'll fly you in, they'll butter you up, you know, they'll give you a little wine and, and uh, champagne and stuff like that. Hey, come look at our new car. You got to sign the uh, press embargoes. You can't talk about this car until such and such a date. So I'm thinking somebody done messed up, but they have their Instagram name all over the picture. So I'm thinking this is probably like a leak because it says Sinister Lifestyle. And then they got a picture of the Cobra right next to the car. And everybody's been talking about Venom kills demons and all this shit. So we'll see, man. It, we don't really know the actual horsepower. We don't know what they got planned for. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be a supercharged Coyote. But from the wheels, though, 
alone. It's like they had some big wheels, big brakes. You know, it's probably going to be a, a road course track weapon, big spoiler on the back. It's got the signature Shelby stripes on it, man. I'd be real interested to know, you know, what they priced this car at, man. Because, you know, Demon came out to, what, 88 85 88 and then now they're selling for a hundred thousand because they were such a limited run i wonder what what ford is going to price this at he said i'm on my way to find something to eat man got the got the burger and fries going down yeah man we just got through eating man had some uh some tacos and wings i know those two things don't go together but when you eat them together go ahead and trust me it's delicious it's a delicious meal um <laughs> <laughs> TJ Black Hemi is in here. Hey man, y'all check out TJ Black Hemi, man. You know, he's a, he's a famous YouTuber. You know, he only posts like once or twice, you know, out of the whole year. So when he posts a video, man, make sure you have your notifications on so y'all can see when he posts, man. Cause my boy TJ Black Hemi, when he does post, he brings that fire, man. Make sure you check out my boy Real Too Real as well, y'all. But get back to this dang old Mustang, man. I'm so sick and tired of all these Mustang channels talking about Venom Kills Demons. And then today, you get this picture here, and it looks like a regular-ass GT. Like, there's there's nothing special right here, man. I'm, I'm, not seeing, I'm not seeing a Demon Killer. I'm not seeing a Hellcat Killer. I may, you know, I'm not, I don't know, bro. I'm not seeing it. Maybe, maybe, maybe it wasn't supposed to be leaked. Maybe it's not finished. Maybe this was, maybe this is not even the GT500. Maybe this is like, even though it's got Shelby stripes on it. Maybe this is the new GT350. I don't know, man. You never know it for it. Um, the GT350, though, like that's a car. I was talking to a couple of friends of mine, man. That's a Mustang that I would buy. I keep seeing everybody buy these GT350s, man, with the flat uh, plane crank motor. And they go and boost them, uh, supercharge them. I'm like, that's not what that car is made to be, man. It's supposed to be a naturally aspirated car that, you know, you can beat on it and it's going to rev out to almost 9,000 RPM. It's supposed to be a good handling car. And you got to try to make it a drag car. You can't, I mean, you can, but go buy a drag car if you want to do that. Like, don't turn a GT350 into a drag car when it was made to be a road course, like a driver's car for corners and stuff like that. Like, what what are you thinking? Like some people just buy the the top top of the line car and then they try to make it something that's not, man. Like if you wanted something like that, man, and you just, I don't know, maybe they just die hard Mustang fans, just go to a Mustang GT and build it the way you wanted to build it. You would come out a little bit better, probably a lot cheaper, man, or hey, Chevy got a car for you. Dodge got a car for you. You know, if you want a high horsepower, supercharged car, go with them, man. Like, I don't know what people think sometimes, man. Some people just buy the most expensive car of that brand that they can get. You know what I'm saying? If it's a Mustang, they're going to buy the top of the line Mustang. The car came with damn carbon fiber wheels. That should let you know that it was for, you know, track, the, the damn road course, track course, stuff like that, man. Big ass spoiler on the back. Like, how you gonna go down a drag strip with a big ass spoiler on the back slowing you down? Like, that don't make no damn sense. Anyway, man, back to this venom kills demons nonsense. This don't look like it got enough venom to kill nothing at all, man. The damn mongoose is gonna run out on them boys because this is not it. This ain't it right here, man. I'm just letting them be truth be told, man. Gang, gang, yeah, man. I would have liked to have seen something like a little bit more um, creative, a little bit more aggressive, man. They just put, they just made a big grill. That's what the old GT500 looked like. You just had a big old cutout where the grill was supposed to be. I mean, like, come on, Ford, do something new, man. And I'm looking at the headlights. This is what got me thinking, man. The headlights on this car looks like the pre-refresh headlights on the Mustang. Those don't look like the 2019 headlights. Because the 2019 headlights, I don't really like them that much. These look like the uh, you know 2017 headlights, stuff like that. So I'm thinking that this is either an old picture that somebody's just trying to get clickbait on or something. But it says Instagram sinister underscore lifestyle. And underneath that, it says Ford 
Motor Company. And he's talking about the new 2019 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. If you work at a Ford dealer and will sell me this car at MSRP, MSRP, please direct message me. I will leave a deposit today. So he acting like it's, you know, it's about to come out on sale when all the other articles are saying that it's not going to uh, even be revealed until January. So we got a couple months to go before we actually see what it looks like. They trying to drag race zero one Corvettes. Yeah, that's dumb too. Yeah, man. Even trying to race, uh, even trying to drag race the Z06 is kind of pointless because they're not made for that. You can, you might as well just get you a regular Stingray, build it up the way you want to, and you'll have a faster car. Like you can pro charge a Stingray and and have a, a faster car. But yeah, they're trying to drag race the ZR1, and it's not going to be a top end car because it's got so much drag from the Arrow. Um, but going back to this, man, I think. I don't know. It looks like some of the, the leaks, like if if you go back on the internet and look from a couple months ago, there was a Mustang that was supposedly the GT500, but it had the camo wrap on it, so you couldn't really see it, but it had the big old grill opening. They were trying to hide it, but you could still see the grill opening behind all the camo stuff. So this kind of looks like that. That's what is kind of making me think. This probably is it, but it might be a, it might be an old iteration of what they were trying to do, or maybe this is the finalized design. Who knows? Like it's all speculation at this point. Even like the horsepower numbers, we don't know what that's going to be. But I know that Ford, I know that all the automakers, they they intentionally leak stuff out. Like they'll leak out little stuff here and there to try to you know build up hype for their cars. So they'll say, oh well, you know I heard, or they'll have a fake Instagram account and be like, I, this is a rumor. Or I got a special source inside Ford that told me this, that, and the other, man. So, but if it don't live up to the hype, you know, what's the point? You know, I feel like, you know, going back to a lot of the stuff that people say about uh, the Dodge Demon, you know, that 9.65 time or whatever. And a lot of people haven't been able to hit that time because, you know, a lot of people can't drive that good, period, point blank. But when you go out there to the track, and, you know, it's the middle of, of the summertime and it's 100 degrees and you can, you know, only get 10s. Like, are you still really mad? You still got a fast ass car that hits 10s. And then you got Mustang GTs with the 10 speed autos now. You know, people are pro charging those, local supercharging those. They're getting into the 10s, but they still aren't as fast as a demon. So what can what is Ford going to do that's going to be so much better that they're going to be able to beat a demon? Like I said, this might be a Hellcat uh, competitor, but it's not going to be what everybody's hyping it up to be. All these Mustang channels that's over there butt hurt about the Demon and stuff. They all jealous about the Demon because they couldn't get one when it came out. They're talking about Venom kills, Demons, all this stuff, man. No shots fired at nobody, man. No shots fired. But I'm just saying, you know, if you got a real shiny beard and you go online to get hyped up about Venom kills demons, you probably are not going to like this article right here because it doesn't look like there's nothing coming out of this that's backing up what you were saying is all I'm saying. But but yeah, man, like if you want a drag car, go buy a drag car. Like you can get drag pack um, challengers now. You can get, hell, you can get just a base model. If you really want to build your car from the ground up, like a lot of these People online say they want to do all these keyboard warriors that are going back and forth about brands and, and cars and stuff. Like, go get a base model of whatever you want to want to do. Save you all that money and build it the way you want to build it. Like, I don't understand. You can get a turnkey uh, crate motor. You can do all this stuff if you really want to drag race. As hard as y'all boys say y'all want to race, y'all can go and, and, and go buy these cars right now. Like, you don't... <laughs> You don't have to wait. You don't have to wait for a GT500. You don't have to wait for Ford to build you one. You know, I know everybody says, well, you shouldn't mod your car. Or mod your car causes all types of issues. People that really know how to build a car can build a car and it won't have any issues. It's these people that's out here putting the wrong types of modifications on and stuff, man. And they don't know what they're doing. They blowing up their motors or they actually believe in the hype on the internet saying, well, 
Nah, you don't need to touch the engine. Just put a blower on it, man. You don't need to, you know, you don't need no strength and pistons and rods and, and you know, don't worry about them, them bearings in the crankshaft, man. They'll hold up, man. You just put a thousand horsepower on it. Put some NOS on that stock motor. You'll be fine, bro. These engines can hold 900 horsepower. That's why that's I keep saying, seeing in the Mustang groups, saying that the Coyote can hold over a thousand horsepower stock. I'm like, bro. Where they do that at, you know? Not in the tracks that I go to. Everybody I see, man, they over there, <laughs> they got supporting mods to, to actually go together, man. I know a lot of people would like to say that they doing a big build or whatever when they put some headers on and an intake, you know, and they cars loud, but it's still not as fast as all these other cars. I'm just saying, man. Yeah. Hey, man, I don't mess that name up. I don't know how to say that. I'll tear strings. I prefer to build my own instead of letting the manufacturer do it for me, which is what I'm doing now. Exactly, man. If you want your car to be the way you want your car to be, you're going to have to build it. You have to do it. Like, and you'll probably come out with a better car because manufacturers, they have all types of budget constraints. You know, I'm pretty sure they have to get stuff approved by their stockholders and their board of directors and stuff like that. And like you end up with a compromised car at the end of the day. Like they might build it to a certain horsepower point, but normally for for most cars that are are really fast and really built like that, they normally have a certain like limit. Like that you may get to like say, I ain't gonna say no manufacturers, but say you get to have a car that has you know five hundred some horsepower. Once you start getting beyond the threshold of that car and start putting a blower on it, like you run into all types of issues. You run into heat management issues, run into oil, um, you know, lubrication and the oil temperature stuff starts spiking up. Transmissions can't hold all the torque. You know, you start running into all these issues. Your, your rear axles start breaking down. You get on the track and do, you know, three good pulls. All your shit just blows up, man. LS groups are horrible too. LS6 heads. And be, yes, people need to stop doing that. Like, I don't, that's a whole, that's a whole nother avenue. People that, well, let's go, I got an LS swap. I got LS motor, you know, I can go. And then they throw a shot, you know, on it, use the wrong jets and stuff, blow up the motor, all types of stuff, man. You end up throwing a rod through the block, you know, got a big ass hole about, you know, as big as my head in the side of their block, man. They're like, oh, well, you know, no. Yeah, that's what happens when you start doing stuff like that, man. You don't know what you're doing, but people that do know what they're doing, they actually take the time to build those motors. They have reliable power. You can actually, oh, I'm the first name to do it. Hey, hey, big facts, big facts. Yeah, but people that know what they're doing, man, they're going to go through that engine. They're going to, you know, replace the heads. They're going to do a, a modest cam. Like, I, I hate seeing all these people out here put these big ass cams in their cars and don't even idle straight. You know, they're sitting in traffic. It's like, bruh, 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 bruh. it's about to die every time. You know, it's not drivable at all. They get to the track. They can't make power because the cam's all fucked up because they listened to somebody and said they should have this cam or that cam or whatever. Like build the car. Like if you're going to go with a, a big nat natural aspirated car, Get the right cam. You can't go with a cam profile that's so damn high that the only way you can drive it is if it's boosted or if you spraying it and expect to have longevity in your motor, man. But these people out here, man, they just want they just want bragging rights. They want dyno queens. Like, well, it made 900 horsepower on the dyno in one run when I had it cooled for an hour. I let it sit for an hour. We did a dyno run. Yep, yep, real too real. You're right, man. You got to build the trans. You got to build the rear end. You got to think about suspension. You know, I know everybody, it's a meme. You can go online. You can see all these videos with these Mustangs. You know, they doing this down the street because they the people, you know, they maybe they did get the tires. Maybe they did get them some wheels and they threw a big old, you know, horsepower adder on the car, but they didn't think about the damn brakes and the suspension cars out there <laughs> doing this going down the track i'm like bro i'm like oh my god you know you got to think about suspension you got to think about the weight transfer when you're coming off the line man and then you know people don't think about their transmission like you said man they out there you know stock converters or if they're i mean 
if you got a manual, more power to you, but you really, if you're going to be drag racing, man, you got to go with the automatic. <laughs> he said, nope. <laughs> nope. Yeah, man, don't don't go out there half-assing it, man. I see people on the track all the time with these 700, 800 horsepower cars on stock tires, like street tires out there, and it's just be like, what are you doing? And, you know, we go to cars and coffee all the time, man. We see people come around that corner in them damn Mustangs sideways, man. That one Mustang, that white Mustang almost hit that pillar. It's by the toll road, so... Like, build your car up right, man. Don't try to take shortcuts, man. Don't think because you get in the top top of the line, manufacture a car or whatever, that you got the best car out there. Because there's people out there that's going to kill you with, like, a real car, man. Like, a real built car. So, Venom, look like Venom don't kill demons, man. Let me get back to my original topic. This Mustang Shelby GT500 leak, man. If y'all haven't seen it, it's online. Uh, I found it on Jalopnik. You can find it on Autoblog or just type in Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. And if you're on Google, hit that news tab and it'll show you the most recent stuff, man. I don't know, man. I'm looking at it. I'm not impressed. Again, this is just a picture online, man. Maybe Ford has some tricks up its sleeve, man. I'll tell you one thing that Ford is really good at doing uh, that a lot of manufacturers are, are like copying right now is remember when Ford came out with that line lock? They were the first like manufacturer to make a stock like line lock. Like Ford's really good at innovating stuff like that, being creative, taking stuff that people would want from the track and putting it in their car. So maybe they got some tricks up the sleeve, man. Maybe instead of, you know, that, maybe they got an innovative like launch control, man. Maybe they got some, you know, maybe they got some stuff that we don't know about that's going to make this a, a bigger competitor than what it looks like right now. Because that's one thing I will give Ford credit for, man. They're good at innovating good ideas, even with their trucks. Like the F-150 had that 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 uh, that step in the bed, man. And they had that uh, towing assist where you can just back up the trailer with the little knob. Like it's, it's stuff like that. They think outside of the box. So maybe maybe it's not going to be a big horsepower car. I mean, shit, seven, anything over 700 is still big horsepower. You know, that's the day and age we live in where you're like, well, shit, it needs to have at least... 9,000 horsepower to get like, no, not really, man. You know, so maybe they have some tricks up their sleeve, man. Or maybe this car is ultra lightweight, man. Maybe, maybe it's some, maybe they got carbon fiber everywhere, man. Carbon fiber drive, drive shafts and axles and shit, man. I don't know. Maybe it's something that we just can't see by looking at a picture, you know. But, um, yeah, they, that takes me back, man, to uh, what one of these comments were saying about the damn, um, trying to race the uh, or drag race the ZL1 man you see how how much of a disadvantage you are when you have big arrow pieces on your car because we know the zero one is fast but it's not a it's not a I don't, what's the word I'm looking for a phrase it's fast it's powerful but it's not a um like once it gets above 120 miles an hour it's not like super fast like that McLaren 720s do you see how freaking fast that McLaren 720S is? That thing is a, a missile at highway speeds. Like anything above like 100 miles an hour, like there's not right now, like you can, Lamborghini ain't touching it, Ferrari not touching it, Porsche's not touching it. Like that car is a missile because of the aerodynamic capabilities of that car. The car is slippery. Like, it is so fast. Even on the drag strip, that car will back in the hell out of you on a quarter mile. It's so freaking fast. But when you look at the ZR1, the ZR1 on paper has as much horsepower, right? And it's almost the same weight. Well, it's like two or 300 pounds heavier, right? Which is not that much heavier, but it, you're talking about maximum performance. That is heavier, but... The thing that's slowing down the ZR1 is the big old front splitter, the big old front face, the the fact that you know it's it's not mid-engine, so it can't accelerate as hard out of the hole. And then that big ass that big ass spoiler on the back, it's like having a parachute on the back. You know, it's it's downforce. It's great on road courses. We've seen uh, if you've uh, read the Car and Driver, like Lightning Lab and stuff like that. It's a fast car. It is a weapon. 
but you know it's got to have bigger tires it's got to have all this stuff to help it stick to the road you know when it's driving so all that stuff slows you down when you're talking about just straight line acceleration that mclaren 720s though it don't give a fuck man it's just it's gone man and just looking at the damn you know speedometer while that thing is rolling out man it's insane like that's how much aero matters so when i'm talking about like if you're gonna do something like that like with a zr1 versus a stingray with a blower i'm curious to see like which car would actually be faster with this regular ass stingray or maybe a grand sport because it has the wide body would a regular grand sport with a supercharger be faster how much is the 720s that's a good point man my corleone 720s is about four hundred and forty thousand dollars depending on you know give or take they do have a mclaren special options program which i'm sure you can get them up way way uh more expensive than that you know special paint options and stuff like that but uh yeah 440 give or take just say 400 even and then you're talking about a zr1 corvette which about what 120 is i think about as expensive as i've seen them um i'm sure they can get more expensive than that so yeah we're talking about there's a big difference between price differential but one is still faster than the other man you can talk about the price all day man one is still a faster car like considerably faster like faster than a Porsche 918 faster like it's it's a fast car some are 350 you seen something for 350 I mean that's a good ass deal there man but uh that yeah let's let's just say even at three hundred fifty thousand dollars it's still a lot more than a Corvette but you think about that price differential man if you just go get you a, a regular like a Stingray or even a Grand Sport Stingray you can make a faster car like all day you can make a faster car you don't have to buy the top of the line like th those cars are engineering marvels they're bragging rights cars too man people just buy them that have the money because because new ones coming out and they're dropping yeah definitely a grand sport with a supercharger it's in more that's what that's something like it people don't have to buy the top of the line car to have a fast car really about 450 yeah i'm pretty sure like brand new you might be able to find somebody that's offloading one for like what rail said around 350 uh what have you the market's gonna go up and down i think that those cars though if you just bought one of those and you've seen that the market is going down to 350 300 man if you hold on to that car for like five years or whatever that's a car that's gonna probably start coming back up in value because that 720s man everybody is talking about that damn car that car is a game changer and i know that nobody is really going to be able to get a mclaren senna the senna is about one million dollars so that's a big that's a big old leap that's a, that's a whole different type of car that's a that's a hyper car special car type of thing but that 720s man oh is it one of a kind in my dream car yeah that's like you look at that car, man, and, and I'll be honest with you, when I first saw that car, I'll be honest with you, I thought it was kind of ugly, man, because the headlights are, like, not really headlights. They're, like, <laughs> they're there for the aerodynamic stuff, man. It's that damn aerodynamics magic. But, and then the way that the car kind of has the curves around, like, the the, the window and stuff, like, it, it, it looked weird to me at first, which it still kind of looks like an alien. But when you see the car in person, and you see how low it is, and you see how the aerodynamic stuff look all sleek and like futuristic. I'm like, man, that that's a badass car, man. I think that collectors in the future, that's gonna be a collector's car, man, big time. I know the other McLarens. The thing with the other McLarens is that the reason why their value is going down is because <laughs> just garage art. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, but the the people that are driving them are, are driving them for real. The The problem with the other cars is that, yeah, like the 600 LT, the 570S, those are just different variations of the same car they've already made. Like the the 12C was that starter car from McLaren. Then they changed the headlights. And, you know, they started doing the, the number stuff with it. Like it's all been kind of like just 
we're adding more horsepower or we're doing a, a, a aero version or we're doing a long tail or we're doing a convertible stuff like that those are all the same it's it's still the same car same engine that's what's killing the value of those uh it's more says what about the p1 p1 is god yeah N no question p1 is god you know p1 Senna, uh stuff like porsche 918 those those cars are always going to be <laughs> million dollar cars Period. Like, end of story. Like, good luck if you uh, have one of those, man, because you hold on to that sucker, you know, sucker forever, man. That is a God car. P1 is a God car, man. But um, some of the stuff in the P1 and some of the stuff in the center is kind of why the 720S is so good. And bringing out, McLaren's bringing out a new one every year that's faster than the last. Yeah. But it's all kind of the same variants, like the 570, you know, 6, whatever, the 670, whatever, LT. I mean, those are all similar cars, right? They're trickling down the tech, yep. And the thing about the, the, the other, the older McLarens that people don't talk about as much is the reliability on those cars is trash. Like, uh... I don't, I don't even think I still have that video up, but I had a video of me driving the uh, McLaren 12C. Like all the stuff that was going on with that car that I that I didn't talk about, like the door, like so the doors go up, right? It, you know, the door. Uh, my friend told me that that door has had so many issues. Like sometimes he'll be driving and the door will come up. Like that shit got to be scary. You on the highway and the door come up <laughs> by itself. You didn't push nothing. So like he's had an issue with the door. He's had an issue with the little screens. They had those little LCD screens for like your air conditioning and your controls that are on the door. Those are like $2,000 a piece. They go out. Uh, the electronics are weird. The backup camera don't work sometimes. Like they've had issues on the cars, but because they're supercars and they're so, you know, freaking amazing to drive, you know, the owners have overlooked them. You know, I'm looking at, you know, my favorite YouTubers, they have those McLarens. <laughs> it's an expensive Mustang. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess you can look at it that way, yep. Yeah. Uh, but they 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 have some teething issues. I know a lot of the, the issues have been resolved. Even on the 720S, people are saying that's the best McLaren yet as far as issues. It says no one cares if you're paying 400K for one. Yeah, I mean, it, it, probably in that realm, in the same realm, though, it does kind of get a little frustrating. That's what my guy was telling me that, you know, I paid all this money for this damn McLaren and it stays in the shop more than I get to drive it, you know. So, hey, it's it's kind of a give or take. Uh, Grand Sport uh, has the Z06 Aero on it, so you would have to remove it. Uh, yeah, it does have the wide body. You can option it without the, um, the um, spoiler. It's not a wing on the on the uh, Z06 that has that little duck bill type uh, spoiler. You can option it without that, which I think makes it a whole lot better. And without the little front, um, the front uh, splitter pieces. Yeah, I yeah I agree. If you pay that type of money, you you definitely want it. It should be working all day, twenty four seven. I should be able to drive it three sixty five. You know. I shouldn't have any issues when paying that type of money. It says, I've seen a ZR1 go for $155,000. Yeah, especially those early uh, VIN number ones. Uh, and then the, the special, uh, what's it, the Sebring orange color with the uh, matching seat belts and stuff like that. Those are expensive. Uh, SM Moore says, they're nuts to pay $155,000 for that. Um, yes and no. If it was one of those very limited, uh, very early VIN number ones, they probably they'll probably get their money back for it if they decide to sell it like now while the market's hot for them. Um, if they're thinking that it's going to be a collector's car, I don't I don't think so. I think they're kind of losing, taking an L on that one. Um, but yeah, especially 155 when you can get one for like 110, 120. Yeah, if you're doing that right now, you're nuts. I'd rather have a Mercedes GTR for that. Problem is the technology they put in those McLaren cars for race cars, so it's not meant to be daily driven. Um, 
Yeah, yes and no on that. I've seen the 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 new ones, the five seventies are pretty reliable because they're more tailored. They're they're a GT car really. They're more tailored for daily drive. The maintenance is still a bitch and a half on them though. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you got the money though, you know, you got the money. You can ball out like that. Uh Michael Corleone, what do you I guess what do you think about the Lamborghini SUV? Um, I think it's butt ass ugly. And to be honest with you, I mean, here's the thing. I'm on two minds about it. On one mind, I'm like, if you got the money to ball out like that, do it by all means. Like, you're not going to see another SUV that looks like that on the road. That's going to be one of those, like, you pull up with the Lamborghini SUV, everybody knows you got a Lamborghini SUV. You cannot mistake it for anything else. But I'm on, on the other side of me. I'm like, yeah, it is an upgraded Audi. It's in more. It is an Audi. It's a it's a Porsche Cayenne. It's an Audi, whatever the Q, whatever shit thing is. So I'm on the other, I'm on the fence. Like I'm like, you can get one of those for a lot less, but at the same time, like you can shut down traffic with the Lamborghini SUV. Like everybody knows when you pull up with the Lamborghini SUV, you got a Lamborghini SUV. Like, there's nothing else like it right now. It's all angular and mean looking. And like I said, it's still kind of ugly to me, but hey. I seen the 720S at the DFW auto show earlier this year. Um, yeah, we, <laughs> I get to see them all the time. So I'm kind of like, I'm kind of jaded, not jaded anymore, but I'm kind of like, this is a nice car. All right. No one know it's a, uh, Upgraded Porsche. Yeah, most of your buying public is not going to know that underneath all the the exterior stuff that is, you know, it's just another Volkswagen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but hey, good brands can do stuff like that. Good brands can differentiate their products like that to where regular people won't know. Like, they'll get in it and they'll just be blown away. They'll be like, oh my God. He got a Lamborghini SUV. Oh my God. You know, if you pull up to a spot, restaurant, whatever, a valet, like park my shit in the front. I got a Lamborghini SUV. Like, that's the shit that you own, you know? That's their park up front type shit. So, like, I'm like, if you got the money to do it, hey, if you can get a good deal on one and not get beat over the head, and you looked at the residual values and you think that you like you talk to your financial advisor and you think you're not gonna lose a lot of money on it, go buy one, go buy two shit. Get one for you and the wife. Come by all means. Or you can just buy an Audi. <laughs> just go buy the Audi if you really want to be financially responsible. But yeah, that's like you know, back in the day when people was talking about, you know, escalades and like, bro, that's a damn Yukon, man. Go get you a damn, go <laughs> get you a GMC, man. Spending all that money. I'll tell you one thing, though. If you're going to get a, um, I know that the same argument can be had for the uh, Huracan versus the Audi R8. Like, they're the same car. They're literally the same car, same engine, same everything. The only thing that separates them is the Audi is a little bit softer. Tall guy was at the Lambo factory day. Okay, I got to watch that video then, man. But, you know, I think the, if it was a tall, if, if somebody asked me a question like, hey, like, would you get a Performante or would you get an R8 um, RWS? I don't know, man. I would probably go with the Performante just because I like the Hurricane body better. But they're they're basically the same car. And he says, "All right, save the money. Yeah, you get the V10, you get everything, you get all the stuff, and actually, you probably get a, a better ride because it's not as you know hardcore. So, I mean, it just comes down to what you're willing to spend your money on, man. You probably get the R8 for a cheaper price because, you know, everywhere that I go with these exotics and stuff like that, you may see one or two R8s nowadays, man. I remember back when the, uh, the Audi R8 was like." so futuristic and popular and people were like just like losing their shit over an r8 nowadays man it's all the the performantes and the mclarens like mclaren took over really like if you go to a show man and, and they got a 720s just watch watch all the people flock watch all the people flock man it's crazy
Let me get a sip, man. I've been over here dry mouth like a mug here for the past 10 minutes. Yeah, man, McLaren is the top supercar right now. Like, period. Like, all of their models are killing. Like, you can get a, <laughs> you can get a, shoot, you can get any McLaren right now, man. And it's just, like, you automatically invite it to anywhere, man. You can go to any car show with any McLaren. You can get a, uh, even the, the the old, the the uh, the 12C. People don't really know the difference. You pull up with it, man. Them doors go go up. You're killing it. And that's what's so funny about the the Lamborghini uh, Huracan is that people are like, you got a Lamborghini, but the doors don't go up. Like, what's the deal, fam? Like, do you even have a real Lambo? And I was looking at the other question about the Lamborghini uh, SUV. I thought it said SVJ at first, man, because you know your boy Real Too Real loves that damn Aventador. And I'll tell you, man, that Aventador is clean as hell. Let's see. Joe says the 2018 Koenigsegg Ajera RS look interesting. Yes, those are works of art. Like even even down to the little the carbon fiber, like how they have that perfect line that makes a V, like all the way down the car. Even when you open like the uh, the the hood, which I guess is the back of the car, you know, for us in America, you open that up. Even the V continues on the damn carbon fiber on on the engine. Like it's insane the detail, man. Those are those to me. Those aren't even cars anymore, man. Those are pure works of art. Uh, SMR JR Garage bought a 12C at the auction for around for under 100k. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, you know, because even really good ones right now is about about that price. That makes about a good amount of sense. And it looks clean. Yeah, most people are not gonna know the difference, man. It looks clean, clean, clean. I've never seen a Koenigsegg in person. I've only seen one in person. And it was a very short, like I didn't get to like get my eyeballs on it like real good, you know. But yeah, I've seen them in 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 video and it's just even in 1080p, it's like, oh my God. Oh man, he done switched up on me. So <laughs> he says the the Aventador is not his dream car anymore. It's a 720. I don't even blame you, brother. We we didn't see in that that one uh uh friend of Rail 2 Reels has a 720S. And is that that bluish gray color? I forgot what color he had it in, but yeah. And it's an amazing, amazing looking car in person, man. You walk up on it and it's just like it, there's no other car that looks like it, man. He fixed it up and he had to put on a bumper. Okay. So, I mean, it was an auction car. It probably got other issues, you know, but, you know, for when you're driving around, that, that doesn't matter. People outside don't know you had to put a bumper on it, you know. Uh, Aventador SV was my favorite until that 720S. Yeah. I mean, I, I always tell you, man, like the Aventador wasn't really on my radar you know, I've always been a fan of the Huracan and the, especially when the Performante came out, uh, you know, but it's, it's grew on me, man, because it's something about like, it's so much wider and like, it just looked like a Batmobile, like for the street, you know, so, but I mean, this 720S is killing it right now, period, point blank. There's one in Princeton, New Jersey, you talking about the 720S or the, um, the uh, Koenigsegg? The license plate fee must be 10K at least. Probably not that much, but uh, if you're in a certain state where the registration is based off the uh, MSRP, yeah, it's probably probably very expensive. We don't really have that issue in Texas. Registration just kind of is what it is. So we kind of lucky, you know. But I know like a lot of people, a lot of um, people with money, they'll register their cars in a certain state to get around that type of stuff. Oh, you say it's the doors? Yeah, man, you right. You right. Because when you park that 720S and then you open the door and the roof piece comes with it, 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 it makes that, yeah, that's game over. Like, it's it's a wrap. Like, the damn 
the little window above your head goes up and everything, man. Killing it. Killing it. Like, and you know for a fact that they could have just made the regular doors that they have on every other, like, you know, McLaren where they just go up, whatever. But they had the whole piece of the, of the roof come off with you. You know, like, come on, man. Like, who else is doing that? So it was so was it the GT five hundred? Oh, JD Hoover. Hey, how you doing, man? Uh, we don't know yet if it was the GT five hundred. It looks like it was a leak, but the thing that kind of is throwing me off is the fact that the headlights don't look like the 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 new refreshed Mustang headlights, but that grill looks just like the leaked photos of the GT five hundred. So yes, no. I mean, it might be, but uh, yeah, I apologize, man. I talked about that like a good 30 minutes ago, but uh, it's definitely from the rumors and from this thing, I'm thinking this was an intentional leak because the way the photo was taken, there's no way that somebody could have gotten into that and taken a photo without anybody knowing because normally when you get invited to press um functions like that they'll take your cell phone and they'll tell you you can't have any photographs so if you have a, a dslr or stuff like that you gotta leave that shit at the door uh debo is up in here what's up demonology joe what's the weather report in your area i'm hitting your way yeah we need to we need to know what's going on out there man because if it's raining for the call out you know it's that's kind of unfortunate that's a long drive to get rained out Yo, yo, yo. I appreciate you stopping by, Debo. That's what I, hey, man, that's what I call demonology, man. It's Debo, man. He'll snatch your soul and he'll snatch your chain. So tuck your shit in when you get next to that man. Uh, same, as, same as this morning's weather report. So that's not sounding good. Also, JD, you did see it on your Instagram feed. Yeah, this has been circulating for a while, but like who is gonna, who is bold enough to, to, to post this on their Instagram feed. I know when you go to stuff like this, you have to sign so many waivers saying that you're not going to talk about it. You're not going to release any information about it. Like this is a very big possibility that this is, is not real. He says Thanos is coming. <laughs> so he's coming to get their soul, man. So I'm glad you're able to go ahead and make that trip, brother. Have a safe trip. And... It's the horse is riding around on his tiny bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So I don't know if this thing is true, man, but I was looking at it, man. You know, everybody keeps saying all these Mustang guys keep saying Venom kills demons. And I'm looking at this picture of this supposed GT500, man. I don't think that thing going to kill nothing. Oh, man. I appreciate it. Demonology. I appreciate it, man. Got that, that super chat in here, man. Showing my man some love. I appreciate the $5, bro. Ham. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. JD says he has a GT350 waiting for the application to go through for the GT500. Hey, man, uh, I know you just got here, so you didn't hear me talk about how much I really like the GT350, man. And I'm very upset that people go around and try to uh, slap blowers on that motor, man. That, mo that motor is a special motor. And it's a, you know, it's supposed to be wrung out. It's supposed to be naturally aspirated, man. And people go around here just, you know, disrespecting that flat plane crank, man. But uh, my boy Rail to Real knows, I talked about this with him, man. That GT350, if, if that was the Mustang to get, you know, that's the Mustang I would get, you know. I'm not a... Uh, I'm not a Mustang hater by any means. Uh, the GT, the regular GT, stuff like that, that's not my thing per se, but I would definitely get a GT350, man, uh, because of that motor. That motor just makes it like so, it's a it's a top level car, man. Yes, don't mess with it. GS, what does it say? GSH everything. D yes, that, that, that just drives me insane that people out here not understanding. Like it's the people that always got to have a top, but a line car or whatever, not understand that like, like if you wanted to put a blower on that car, go get a stock Coyote Mustang, man. Go do that. Yeah, it's hard to find an R. Like, like the people that wanted the R, they snatched those things up quick. 
Like it, it's, it, it is what it is on that, man. And that, there are, I mean, yes, it has a stiffer suspension, but I mean, if you were daily driving your three your 350, man, you probably came out better anyway. Demonology says he sold the Hellcat. Yeah, man, I, I figured somebody was going to make you an offer you couldn't refuse, man. Uh, I'm glad, hopefully you didn't sell it for that price that you was talking about <laughs> earlier, man. We're not going to, I ain't going to put all that information out there, but I'm glad that, um, yeah, hopefully it's going to a good a good home, man. Got that extra space in the garage, though, man. So what are you going to put in the garage, demonology? You know, some rumors going around that you're going to get a GT500. You got to check these people. Oh, man, I appreciate it, man. Another $5, man, from Alterus. Uh, I'll back you on this, demonology. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it, appreciate it, man. Yeah, real too real. He's gonna get that GT five hundred. <laughs> She's got that space in the garage. You know, it's gonna be calling man the Cobra Master. He said, tried to give it away for thirty. Bro, no, nah, don't tell, don't tell me that. <laughs> tried to give it away for thirty six. Uh, he took forty one. Oh man, man, forty one. That's still a good price, man. I was hoping you probably get forty five out of it, but hey, forty one's good. Uh, let's see, GSH everything. Uh, GT350R versus ZL1LE, which is the closest to a daily? That is a tough question, bro. Um, hmm. Man, they're both pretty, uh, pretty hardcore, man. I would say probably the GT350R just because the ZL1, 1LE, that suspension on that thing will knock your teeth out. The suspension on that is really hard. Um, if you're just talking about a regular ZL1 with the adaptive, the, the Magna ride, you can daily that all day and no problems, no problems. That thing is real comfortable when it's in its regular setting. But that one LE, man, that'll knock the... If you got fillings in your teeth, <laughs> you'd be like, what the hell? American muscle making a game back in performance. Yes, big time. It's always, man, we live in like, you know, we live in a day and age where, shoot, we were talking about just a couple of years ago, gas prices was going to kill all these cars, man. And now we got a situation where we got cars with over 700, over 800 horsepower. And we're like, well, you know, should probably have more, right? <laughs> Why are you releasing a car at only 800 and some horsepower? So yeah, we live in a crazy day and age, man. Yeah, crazy depreciation on those big time. <laughs> uh, Michael Corleone, the Hellcat is going now. It's time for a pickup. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We need to get that pickup in the, in the stable, man. Uh, Hey, I was, like I said, I don't have any, I don't have super brand bias like a lot of people, man. I know I talk shit online and stuff, man, but uh, I was really trying to get him to get a Raptor, but everybody's saying that the Raptor can't tow anything. And so, you know, that kind of got pushed out of the equation. So I don't know, man. 13 in here, hit that like button. Yeah, ready to real. Let them know, man. Let's get this thing going. Let's get it on. Get live like 95 over here, man. Oh, so your wife, Cindyology, did get a car. So she got the Lexus 350 RX S Sport. That is not a bad deal, man. You know, the, the Lexus is... Um, it, it, the looks... I, <laughs> I, I have a hard time with the looks, but you can't beat the fact that people... Uh, it's not going to be... It's not a copycat of anything else out there, man. People know what it is. They know it's a Lexus. And then on top of that, if you ever have any issues, man, you can go to the Toyota dealership, man. It's not that big of a deal. And then she got the F-Sport, so it has that sporty package on it. It's mainly an appearance package, you know, F-Sport. You know, it's not really, um, it's kind of like uh, how BMW has the M and M-Sport. So still a good car, man. Uh, because if y'all watched that video that me and Demonology did on that uh, Porsche Cayenne, that wasn't the one for her, man. And then the other ones that, Porsche uh, makes the V8 and the Turbo V8. Them things cost too damn much. Uh, get social but <laughs> get social butterfly, man. Was good, my guy. I always see you, man. I appreciate the thumbs up, man. 
J.D. Hoover, Hennessy Venom, 300 miles an hour. What do you think about that? Um, Hennessy is, I mean, th they have a very sketchy past with taking people's money and not finishing cars. Uh, if they're saying it's going to go 300 miles an hour, I need to see a record first because just taking their word for it, I'm not going to believe it, unfortunately. Um Ooh, real to real. I did my first car review today. That's what's up, man. We definitely got to get these reviews cranked out, man. I know people want to see them, man. You ain't got to give away too much. Don't, you know, you ain't got to tell us what it is, man. We just have to go see it, man. Make sure y'all check out my boy Rail to Rails channel, man. Catch that review. Jason Marshall got the thumbs up going, man. I appreciate it. And he's got the red seats in there too, Demonology. Okay, yeah. So she, yeah, that that comes with the F Sport package, I uh, I think. And those are real nice leather, buttery seats. Got the bloody Mary guts. <laughs> uh, JD Hoover says Demonology. It's an okay choice, but the looks for the Lexus is just the uh, yeah. Hey, that's what I'm saying, man. It's a tough thing. Um, performance of handling on the rx models the 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 handling you know it's still it's still a a, a top heavy suv but the escort does bring a little bit better handling to it my friend um my homeboy money mills if y'all watch my video i did with the amg 450 uh he bought his wife a, um a is 250 escort or whatever that is it a 250 anymore or three something i don't know uh and it handles very damn well, even for it being just the F Sport. Uh, it doesn't have the power, but it's got the handling down. Yeah, GSH everything. Those 350 RX, they look futuristic. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't like it, but hey, it's like, yeah. <laughs> uh, GS already, bro. Uh, she likes it. It's four by four. Okay, cool, man. Is she? But uh, demonology, man, why was 4x4 four four so important, man? She ain't going to take that thing off road. I guess she just wanted for when it rains and, you know, in Texas, we get that one day of snow. She ain't going to dry that in no inclement weather anyway. Uh, Rail 2 Real says he has the perfect dealership for us for fast cars and trucks. Yes. All right, then, brother. Text me that. Yeah, we got to make that happen, man. Whenever you <laughs> get a day off, let's make that happen. Uh, Jason Marshall, I'm still waiting on demonology to net, let me know if he and his crew want them ribs. Bro, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta uh, ask. You already know we want them ribs, man. <laughs> that is a given. That is an absolute. There's one thing that's absolute. What's the uh, death and taxes, and then the fact that demonology wants ribs. And it says, I like that demonology in four by four. Demonology say, who got some ribs? I must be way behind. Let me catch up, man. Okay, I'm not that behind. Okay, cool. JD Hoover says, what kind of ribs? Ribs, ribs. <laughs> GSH, everything says, I like to get me a Lexus ISF. Hey, you and me too, brother. I do like those ISFs. Those are the, the ones that... Man, it's... It, in the in the big scheme of things, their competitors are better. Like let's not let's be real, but that car is special, man. That damn it just sounds amazing. Uh, Demonology, yeah, I wanted her to have it. Hey, I understand, man. You know the you gotta you gotta take care of the wife. Out here says I'll be back, my fellow Texans. All right, man. I appreciate you stopping by, man. Always good to have you here. Uh, it's flooding in Texas. How are you, Texas boys, doing? Um, me, you know, I'm we used to it. I mean, if, you know, I mean, it says that it's flooding, but we're really up here in Dallas, we're not getting it as bad as like in Houston or stuff like that. And down there by Austin, where that damn bridge, uh, where's that San Antonio, where that damn bridge collapsed, we're doing okay. Uh, you know, we there's certain places we can't go, but that's fine. <laughs> real to real says ribs, hmm. <laughs> Is SMR says, I'm here in Austin. We got some good ribs out here. All right, brother, preach. You know, we might have to take you up on that. Uh, GSH says, they are a sleeper for sure. Yes, they are definitely a sleeper. Uh, Retro says, Battlefield 4 time. 
I'm done editing now. Okay, man, I'm probably gonna get get off here in a second. I didn't know it was like past nine o'clock. I was only gonna get on live for like five, 10 minutes, man. And then, you know, hey, that's what it turns into, man. Um, stopping Gainesville on his way to PA, he can get all he wants. Hey, man, you hear this, man? Real crib, Gainesville, Texas, right off of I-35. It's on me, baby. It's on me, baby. All right, Jason Marshall, we gonna, <laughs> they gonna hold you to that. GSH, glad to hear, bro. Yeah, I mean, the, the city's so big that we, you know, unless it's really, 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 really raining, then, you know, we, we straight. But like I said, this I'm in DFW. I'm in Dallas-Fort Worth, man. We, we're all right. Uh, JD Hoover says, hey, I got to go. Love this chat room. Hey, man, I appreciate you for being here. I'm subscribing and liking this video. Uh, which the chat should do too. Keep making videos. Hey, appreciate the love, man. Appreciate the thumbs up, everything, man. Uh, who do you go for, Cowboys or the Texans? I was born and raised in Dallas, Texas. Cowboys all day, man. We the dynasty. We America's team. All that good stuff, man. Um, I'm that, that means that I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not going to hate on the Texans. Now. I know a lot of Cowboys fans want to hate on the Texans, man. Uh, but anything Texas, man, I'm all for it, man. I'm a Texas baby, born and raised, man. I got 20 uh, for your Battlefield 4 GoFund. Y'all keep, hey, I appreciate it. Real, real to real. Always got my back, man, since day one. Uh, Demonology, I will try to go live tonight on the road. Okay, I'm definitely going to keep keep an eye out for that, man. Y'all keep an eye out for that. Keep it rolling. We love the channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Get Social Butterfly. Super Chat doing work. Uh, no iTunes. Hey. Hey man, you know it's, it's hey appreciate the 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 thought that counts, man. Hey, uh, Jason Marshall, word is bond. Can't wait to see you guys ready to fill up the snow snatcher on his way to the seven one seven funeral. Oh man, it's supposed to be a call out, not a funeral, but yeah, it's gonna be a funeral. Hey, that I can't wait for that, man. I really can't, man. I wish I could have went. You know he, you know he demonology definitely was trying to get me to go with him, man. It's just, I had so many different obligations that I couldn't, I couldn't make it this particular go around, man. But hopefully, man, I got some things working out in the future that'll hopefully free up a lot of time for me, man. It's just, you know, when, when we chain down to these jobs, man, speaking of, man, if y'all haven't seen my video of me getting my, my first YouTube paycheck, man, y'all know how it is, man. We, that's why I'm doing this YouTube thing, man. I'm trying to get some freedom in my life, man. I'm trying to get some freedom out of here, man. But I got some business moves going on, man. Hopefully, I can do this and and, and, and keep it keep it going, man. Uh, Rail says, I got you in person. Everyone help my brother out. Super chat. Everything helps. Yeah, absolutely, man. Everything does have help. And I, I like doing these types of videos, man, especially uh, just having these conversations about cars, man, because a lot of people have a lot of different opinions. And I love hearing different opinions, man. I know I'm not the only person on earth, man. So when I when I like something, you know, you might like something totally different. And that don't mean that me or you, we're right or wrong, man. It just means that we're just human beings and we like different things. So I love having these conversations with people, man. And like I said, it was about this GT500. From what I can tell, man, you know, I think what demonology says, right, man, it's not gonna live up to that hype. That people keep hyping it so big because they want it to be a demon killer because they want a demon killer because they secretly wanted a demon. This ain't it. I keep looking at it. It's not that, man. <laughs> Joe says, the laptop battery died. Hey, man, I know how that goes. Last time I tried to do it live, my phone died. So I can, I can definitely uh, relate. SM Moore says, don't we all need that freedom from this corporate life? Yeah, man, you get into this corporate monster, man. They just turn you in and just squeeze you dry, man. They just get every last thing they can out of you, man. So that's why I'm trying to do this, man. I'm trying to get something else going. Red Terrell says, not as a production car. It's not going to happen. Yeah, it's not. Just, yeah. I, I mean, there's a very slim possibility. Like I said, if Ford got something up their sleeve and they just leaked this out just to just to troll, which that could be a very big possibility. Manufacturers like to leak stuff like this all the time. But if the rumors are still that it's only going to be about 700, what does it say? Uh, I mean, where was it at? I had it up here, man. I had it up here somewhere. 
rumored to have around 720 horsepower. No, that's not going to cut it. Even with the weight advantage, that's not going to do it. Because we've seen, like, just on the track already, we've seen GT Mustangs with the 10 speed, you know, with a blower, 700, 800 horsepower. They're still not hitting beyond like 10, eights. Like, it's not going to be a demon killer at all. That ain't enough. No, it's not. What are you talking about this lottery? Get that lottery, guys. It's 900 million. Boy. <laughs> Hey, if I hit the lottery, man, I'm going to every call out. And the Powerball is 430 million. And I host my own call out down here. The height uh, sells it up, but not the horsepower. Yeah, the horsepower ain't going to back it up. Yeah. <laughs> you are Demonology's brother. Uh, yeah, brother from another mother, I guess, man. You know, we click like that. But uh, but yeah, if they can't back it up on the track, it don't matter. And like I said, the way that it's looking right now, they got, from this picture alone, it looks like they got 305s all the way around. And that tells me they're going straight for track time, like road course track time numbers. They're trying to be circuit course. You know, they're, nothing about this picture says that they're trying to be a demon competitor. They've got big open grill, uh, big... Looks like brake ducts on the side. There, there doesn't look like there's any type of additional intakes for like, you know, power related stuff, man. And then they got this big ass spoiler on the back. Like that's, that's telling you right there. That's what they care about. This is what Ford and Chevy has been for the past, what, 10 years? They've been going after the 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 BMW type stuff of the world, the world and the Porsche stuff, you know. They want the road course monster. Yeah, it is a road course monster like the GT350. Yes, that's what we all, well, that's what most of us with common sense know. That's what it's, that's what it's going to be. Everybody else that's hyping it up to be a demon killer, they're going to be sadly mistaken. They're going to get their feelings hurt is because this ain't it. This ain't a demon killer. This is a GT500. This is a Shelby. This, what was Carroll Shelby all about? He was about racing on a road course. I'm sure there's going to be people that's going to go and they're going to put bigger blowers on it and pulleys and tunes and all this stuff. And they're going to be out there on the track thinking that they, just because they have a high horsepower car, that they're going to be able to go down the drag strip like a demon and it just ain't going to work for them because they're not going to have the tire set up. They're not going to have the suspension set up. Like the, the demon suspension in it is of itself is even if you're looking at the the Mopar family, the demon suspension isn't even the same as the Hellcat suspension. They made considerable changes from the Hellcat to make the demon hook up the way it does. And I'm looking at this Ford, this leaked picture here, and I'm seeing the rear end has camber, the front tires have camber, and it looks like, like I said, it looks like they're running 305s all the way around, square setup. They're trying to go after road course times. There's going to be a car that's going to be great for handling. It's going to be, you know, probably a road course monster. You know, it's going to be a ZR1, I mean, ZL1, Camaro, Fighter, all that good stuff. But it ain't finna get down the track. Joe says, when my red eye comes in, I'll be down there picking it up. 720. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> hey, you know, we, we love... Uh, to be down there for that type of content. Taurus, what's up, man? How's your day going, man? We're talking about this leaked picture for this uh, this GT500, supposedly. It may or may not be, but it, it looks, it's got the makings of it. It's got the stripe package and everything. Um, it says, uh, I'm, I'm going back up, y'all, so I apologize. I'll tell you, said, I hit 45 miles east of Dallas, where I'm at and it's flooding. Oh man, see that's tough because out there it's not like y'all don't have the the big city infrastructure to kind of get all that water out like we do here. Forty five miles east, it's not even that far outside of Dallas either, man. And it's flooding. That's crazy. I hope y'all uh, stay all right, man. Stay safe out there. Joe says, oh, I will. Uh, says, I will meet up with the demon and Greg who sold it to me. Oh, okay, 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 cool, man. So you're the one that was asking uh, Greg about the um, uh, about the uh, red eye. 
man, congratulations on getting that, man. And big shout out to Demonology for making that happen because, you know, the, these dealerships, they like to play games, man. Big shout out to Greg Wilborn for getting that made for you, getting that, that handle, man, without all the games. That's going to be crazy, man. Yeah, let us know when you're doing that, man, because we would love to be out there film that, man. If you're, if you're down for that type of thing, man, we'll definitely <laughs> make, make a good legendary video off of that. <laughs> Two or three videos, man. We might chop that up, man. Yes, yeah, so let us know for sure. Then you can always get in contact with me on my Instagram, 728 Autos is the same thing. Or you can email me, uh, 728 at Gmail. It's on my uh, my channel page. If you go there, it's on there. Yeah, Real to Real said, we film everything. Chris says, time to sell my 10 and start banking mod cash. Yeah, man. Hey. I was saying earlier, that's the way to do it sometimes, man. Stack that money, man, and then make it make it your way, man. Put that money towards what you want to build. You'll have a way better, <laughs> way faster car than what this looks like, man. Get you some sticky mickeys. Yeah, you got to chop it up sometimes, man. Hey, I know that, like I said, hey, when, when me and Demonology got together that one day, hey, we were there, what, Demonology was about six hours? We made three, four videos in one day. Hey, that's the way it goes, man. We had so much to talk about. I couldn't put that in one video. Like, it would have been like a two-hour long video, man. So, chop, chop, chop. Yeah, we don't waste no footage, man. I put together a compilation real fast, man. But I know that you guys want to see everything that's going on behind the scenes. Y'all want to see more of the, the, the demon. and Y'all want to see more of the, the car shows and the, the auto content, man. And y'all y'all clearly love like talking about cars like this, man. Speculation, rumors, all that stuff. Hey, you know, we try to do everything for you guys. Because like I said, out here in Dallas, we got all the cars. Like there's, you know... People tell me all the time, man, y'all so lucky to be down there. Y'all got McLarens, y'all got Lambos, y'all got the damn uh, Paganis, y'all got that damn Bugatti Chiron. Like, if y'all watched that video, that damn Bugatti Chiron, I done seen that damn Bugatti like so many times. <laughs> but people like outside of, you know, larger cities and like Dallas, LA and New York, something like that, they don't get to see cars like that. Dallas is the Mercedes capital of tech, yeah. Facts. I, I stay, uh, there's a big ass Mercedes dealership like right down the street uh, from me. Then you got the BMW street right right across the damn highway from it. Like this is where people spend their money, man. And we got all the stuff out here, man. Everything, everything. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, as, as us, you know, we try to bring you that content. Sometimes we feel like we're getting tired of it because we keep seeing you know, all these cars, but they're so damn legendary that you got to get it on uh, on camera because, you know, people stay, you know, where this type of stuff is not normal. It is not normal to see supercars, you know, every day and, and get to be able to get inside them and have people take you for a ride and, and you get to see the engine and all that stuff, man. It's crazy, you know, so we love doing it, man. I try to bring you all that type of stuff all the time. Joe says, let's see the picture. Uh, 720 autos, just share your live. You said you just shared it or what? I'm sorry. I'm, you know, I'm trying to read the stuff. I don't get the context when people type sometimes. Uh, Joe says, let's see the picture. Uh, I'll try to get on my live early. Let me see if it'll let me do it where I can type it out. Cause I don't know why this thing is. I got my phone and I got my laptop and I don't know. They're not cooperating with me today. Uh, but if you want to see that GT500 picture, it's uh, it's on Jalopnik and it's on Auto Auto Blog or something like that. Okay, cool. So it let me it let me pull up right now. So let's see. I got it. I got it. Just bear with me. Bear with me, guys.
I said, bear with me. And I was like, it's going to be like quick. And then it takes all this time to pull up. Wi-Fi lit. Wi-Fi lit. Cool, cool, cool. Says, all right, so we uh, scroll, scroll, scroll. Yep, he got the deal done and demonology for the hookup. Man, that's that's impressive because I remember seeing you ask in the damn live stream and then they just, they were able to get it done for you like that. He said, hey, call me. I'm going to get it to you for MSRP. That's amazing that you're able to get that done like that, man. That's why we give them new things to watch, like big rims, car shows, car meets, and our regular side stuff. <laughs> we drinking that that slurp juice. That's that slurp juice. Joe, I subbed you. Hey, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Cause we try to bring everything to you guys, you know, as 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 much as we possibly can, man. Because we love we love cars, man. It's just kind of when you when you when you love cars and you're in a city that has all the cars, man. You what can you do? You just gotta get out there and get the footage for the people, <laughs> and do the do the car reviews and do the drives. And because I know a lot of you guys want to know, like you want to know how does it drive? Because it's, it's, it, you can get on Motor Trend, you can get on Car and Driver, you can read an article or whatever and, and see it. But, you know, those people, man, there's a thing that I always try to avoid is that when you've been in so many cars, you start getting jaded. Like, they start nitpicking at cars and, like, they won't tell you, like, their real opinions because they want to keep getting cars from manufacturers. They want to keep getting advertising dollars. Look. I'm fully transparent. I'm barely getting any money from YouTube. So, you know, I'm not getting paid by a manufacturer to, to, to tell you nice things about a car. I'm going to try to be objective. Yes. But I'm also going to try to tell you like how I feel about it from a real person's perspective. Like I'm going to try to give you the real, like if the car, if the car ain't hitting it, and I'm going to tell you, it ain't, it ain't hitting it. Like if, if, if I think that there's something better, on the market, I'm going to tell you what I think the alternatives are, man, and where you can maybe save some money because I'm all about saving the bread. So when I go drive cars, yes, I've got the hookup a couple of times, man. I've gotten hookup from friends and dealerships, you know, that invited me to go look at their cars and stuff like that. And But, you know, I'm not obligated to say nice things about their car. Like if the car is is, is boo-boo, <laughs> I'm going to let you know. Like hey, I got invited to, to review that um the new Volkswagen Jetta, because, you know, I got a GTI and I got a Jetta. So obviously, you know, uh, VW people are watching my channel. They they like my content. So it's like, man, come check out the new Jetta, man. I like the new Jetta. Like, I won't be 100% with you. That's my honest opinion. I like it. It, it would it be a car that I would go just rush out and buy? No, because I got my GTI. I'd rather have something sporty uh, than that. It's a little too boring for me. But for everyday driver, commuter, get, man, that thing was getting like 42 miles a gallon. And like the infotainment, like just blew away my car. They got Beats Audio, all this, you know, I can go on and on. But if it was garbage and it was poop, I'm gonna still put that video out. I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna chop up that video. I'm gonna let you know, but I'm gonna tell you, man, if it ain't good, I'm gonna let you know. And it said, damn, it's sweet looking. I'll still uh, rip on the Mustang guys. <laughs> Yeah, man, you got to give them a little nudging, man, you know, because they think it's going to be the the end-all, be-all of all muscle cars. They think this is going to kill everything from Mopar. Joe says, I'm going to start my own channel on the Red Eye Band. Yeah, absolutely. Do that. Get on that while it's hot, man. You got to get those those clicks and let every people know. Let people know because a lot of people are looking at those Red Eyes right now. Cause they're looking like, should I get a red eye? Should I get a regular Hellcat? Should I get a, uh, a scat pack? You know, you know, should I get a 392 Daytona? Like everybody's thinking about like, you know, making those moves, man. You put a channel out there and start putting content out on a red eye. And if you really like it, 
and enjoy it, man. People gonna come to you first because they're gonna watch your videos because they're gonna be shopping online, but they're gonna watch your videos, you know, like they're gonna get on YouTube in the middle of the night, you know, when they wife sleep or whatever, start looking at all these red eye videos, man, start dreaming about the car and all the parts they're gonna put on it and stuff, man. You're gonna get all those views. So do that as soon as you get the car, man. And we can help you out, man. We can get that first video going for you, all that good stuff, man. Give me some more. Give me some more water in here. <laughs> hey, man, don't trip on this damn Mickey Mouse cup, man. I just, my niece was over here. So that's why I got this. Don't think I'm sipping on these Disney cups all day. But yeah, looking at the picture, man, this doesn't look like a drag strip car to me, man. At all. <laughs> yeah, get, the, get that hydration, K. Jonesy. Altera says, I know exactly which BMW and Mercedes dealerships you're talking about. My ex-girlfriend's dad bought a Mercedes McLaren SLR from there and then an M3 from across the street. Yeah. Yeah. The, man. Yeah. Because they, I think these are like the two, like the the, the largest ones out here, basically. And that's the one we go to Cars and Coffee with, man, that, that BMW uh, dealership. And it's crazy how much they have to move around for us to just to be able to go to do the Cars and Coffee stuff, man. That, that lot is huge. And they moving cars out there like crazy. They got, like when they, um, the M4 came out, they were had them on sticker for like ninety thousand dollars, man, just for the M4. I was like, "What? Like crazy, man?" Because they had all the crazy custom like paint colors and all that. Like they get all that shit first, because they like the largest dealership out here, man. It was just like insane. I tell you, like a car that I would love to get is that damn uh, M2. I know people don't like small cars. I really shouldn't like small cars. I'm six foot tall and uh, fat as hell, but shit, I'll be making, I'll make it work. I'll squeeze in. <laughs> There's something about the damn driving position, man. It make you feel like you're in a damn race car. You say, yep, get that slurp juice. Oh, you drove one and it's, yeah. I imagine it being amazing. I didn't get to drive it. It was still in the dealership showroom, man. I was just having them dreams. Uh, <laughs> daydreaming while I'm holding the wheel, man. But everything about it, while I'm just sitting in the car, man, felt perfect. And they had the little competition seats and the carbon fiber, all that shit. I was like, man, like this is, like that would be, like I'm being selfish when I'm thinking about that because it's two doors, it's small as hell. You know, you can't get no family in there. Uh, but I'm like, shit, man. Going down the, down the highway and that little motherfucker just, j -j 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 -j. bruh, that's the perfect car for me. And then, like I said, hey, you're getting a, getting a whole bunch of other cars. Like I said, I got in the damn Hellcat and I started getting Hellcat dreams. I was like, oh shit, because this mug got this big ass back seat and this big trunk. I can make this work as a daily driver, man. I don't know. Rail says, I love the M6, bro. I want uh I want one one day. Shoot, man, that's the that's the baller. That's the baller BMW right there, man. That's the damn pull up on them, you know. That's the big body M6, man. Yeah. What are those things having now? Like, oh, let me look, man. over here doing stats and research yeah 600 horsepower now shit yeah m6 all day yeah vxptc1 yeah that's what i was just looking up man <laughs> sm more says you so you got it as a rental from uh turo yeah i, I be seeing turo man they be having some dope cars on there that's crazy I remember when that uh when the new Camaro had first come out, the 2010, the 2010 Camaro. I remember I had rented one 
uh, just so I can drive it. Like I was in love with that damn car. I rented one just so I can drive it. The handling is superb. Yeah. I mean, it is crazy because it weighs almost as much as an M4. They're very similar in weight, but it's just a smaller body, like in the driving position. And like it just feels like it's just so much better. Uh, Joe says, I can't afford a Bugatti, so I'm going to go to Vegas and rent one for a day. Yeah. Uh, go to, um, uh, what's the name of that company? What's the, there's a couple of them out there, but, uh, the one that I'm thinking about has escaped my brain. Uh, but I know the owner Houston that has a damn Bugatti and yeah, they'll hook you up, bro. King Sai, What's up, bro? What's up, King? It's in more. 405 horsepower. Yeah, the M2 is 405. Uh, so you also, oh, really, you did have one. So you had a 600, uh, 600. You had a 645 convertible and the trans went out. Yeah. Um, that's the problem, man. You start running into issues, man. And it's very hard uh, to find somebody that knows how to work on them properly, man. And then if you get one used, man, you never know what somebody did to it before you had it. They probably beat on that thing. Uh -huh, we know it's your glass, LOL. But yeah, man, it's it's just like what people tell me, man, you know, about me owning Volkswagen. It's all the German cars and you guys, and you're gonna have issues, like, it just depends. Like, it really depends on, like, first and foremost, any car you buy can have issues. But um, if you don't know who can fix it, like, I'm, I'm fortunate to live in Dallas. Like, there's so many places I can take my car. Like, if you're just out there in a spot that has very few import uh, mechanics, then, yeah, I would kind of be scared and, and, you know, a little bit worried. But it says, yeah, it's 65K and went out. Man, you was probably stomping on that mug at every red light, man. <laughs> probably blowing them tires off at every light, man. It said, uh, I'll check out the red eye videos. Yeah, man. I'm surprised that more people, I've seen like one or two, but there are reviewers, like they, they've got press cars. Like I'm actually trying to see people to actually own the car and, and, and put it up against like some of these other cars out here and see what happens, man. Especially Hellcat to Red Eye. And I'm talking about regular Hellcat. Because uh, the new ones are supposed to have 717 horsepower now because of the new hood that you can get with it. But um, and about that new hood, man, do y'all like that new hood? I don't really, I'm not really feeling the, <laughs> the two nostrils. I'm not really feeling the new hood all that much, man. But that's, like I said, that's my opinion, man. You might like it. You might love it. I'm not feeling it. Benelux, what's up, man? Hey, man. Uh, hopefully, you're doing good, man. I know you had some issues with YouTube, man. So hopefully, you're getting your stuff uh, sorted out, man. Because I, I like watching your videos, man. If y'all haven't checked out Benelux Supercars, man, check him out, man. He does a lot of supercar spotting. And he gets all the footage, man. He says, I had an angry Mustang owner because I laughed at the EcoBoost version. Real Mustang is a V8. <laughs> yeah, people gonna get mad when you start laughing at their cars, bro. You should know better, man. <laughs> Can't just be laughing at them now. Uh, but yeah, man, hopefully you checked out my channel, man. My friend has an EcoBoost. And you know, we did a couple of videos where we actually um, uh, did the Cobb tuning on it. He's uh, He stays too now. We did a Mishimoto intercooler, uh, MA Performance intake, and then he did a Flowmaster exhaust. And, man, I'll be real with you, man. You know, hey, I mean, yeah, a real Mustang's a V8, but damn, man, that EcoBoost, it was an eye-opener. It's definitely it's definitely not a V8, you know, and I can definitely see how people would definitely kind of be like, nah, that's not for me. I, 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 can, I, can, totally, I can totally see their viewpoint, but, hey, man, don't sleep on an EcoBoost, man. That thing, it's, it's, a, it's a little beast. Joe says, I asked them how many crowds they've run over lately and they get mad. They can't get mad at that now. Look, it's a well-known fact. <laughs> it just is what it is. I was talking about that earlier, man. If you're getting your Mustang, you throwing power at it and you're not, you're not doing any suspension mods, you're done. Like, cause from the factory Mustangs, um, and this is gonna trigger some people, some Mustang people. Mustangs have always been a very good 
uh, commuter car with a V8. Like it is what it is. The even Ford, they the the base Mustang without a performance pack and all that stuff is a very soft suspension, very soft dampening. It's a very comfortable, very smooth ride. You start trying to make it do things it's not wanting to do and making it turn and you doing burnouts because you think you got a Mustang and you VA and you done lost your damn mind. Yeah, it's going to bite you or bite the crowd. It's going to do something that you're not going to like. So that's why, you know, do suspension mods, do suspension upgrades. He said, interesting. That's what I do. That's why I got the new one in my car at 85. Okay, yeah, man, we know how you ride, man. You, you don't never lift your foot off the gas. Your foot stay planted. <laughs> K Jones, it will grow on you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Chris NYC in the building. Uh oh, uh oh. It's the GT500 looks real good. Hey, man, I was just talking about it earlier, man. Hey, hey that's people's opinion, man. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. At all, but hey, if you like it, that's what's up. I know for a fact that it, it's not looking like it's gonna be a demon killer. I know that. They can they can hype it up all they want. <laughs> it's like Chrissy. <laughs> yeah, they can hype it up all they want to say venom kills demons and all that stuff, but it, it don't look like it's gonna kill not a damn, not a damn thing. I'm just I don't understand it, man. People hyping this thing up so mad, so big. Would you drive, hold on. See, I always gotta touch this thing to get my comments up. I don't know how to fix that. Let me see. Okay, whatever. Uh, Altera says, would you drive a smart car? I wouldn't with the windows up. Scared I might take a deep breath and suck up all the air. Um, would I drive a smart car? No, that, no. I don't even really think I need to explain why I wouldn't on that one. That's just the automatic. That's the automatic no. Um, yeah. So a friend of mine had a um, the Fiat 500. And <laughs> no. Even uh, even the, uh, the Abarth or Abarth or however you say it. Those are fun Little cars, not they sound mean, and you know people say they're fun to drive and and everything, but no. Uh, I got in that that Fiat five hundred. We were going to lunch, and like so, yeah. Like I said, I'm six foot, so I'm not like super tall or anything, but you know I'm average height or whatever. So I sat in the car, man. I'm looking like so. I did my arms out like this, man. So my right hand was out the right window. And my left hand was out of the left. That's how small the car was. Like I could do like this and my <laughs> my hands was out flapping, big flapping in the wind. Like I feel like we can just take off if I kept doing this. I'm like, this girl, this car do damn small. This car. And then like the back seat was like on your <laughs> on your shoulder. I was like, nah. Nope, not for me. I feel like if you drive that thing in the rain, you're gonna get washed away. He says, I don't know about Chris NYC says, I don't know about Demon Killer. Shelby is a race car. Yes, it is. A, it's supposed to be a track, uh, like a, a road course uh, race car. Yes, that's what it's supposed to be. I don't know why people keep seeing, saying it's going to be a Demon Killer. Venom kills demons. All this. Like, get that nonsense out of here. And Chris says, Benelux, where you been? Yeah, man. Benelux been having issues with YouTube. YouTube has been, you know. <sighs> You know, I ain't going to bring that negativity in here, but yeah. King uh, Sai says, S550 Coupe is dope. Yes. Yes, it is. Very dope. Real says, battery dying. Hey, man. Say, man. It's your battery, man. <laughs> Joe says, I love the new hood. Yeah, see, there you go. Joe loves the new hood. I don't. I don't, man. I'm just being honest with you, man. All right, y'all, man. So look, I've been on here for an hour. I, this was not planned. I was not supposed to be on here this long, man. But I appreciate y'all rocking with me and, and watching the stream, man. Those of y'all who hit those thumbs up and donated for me, man, I appreciate it. It means the world to me, man. But I'm going to go ahead and get off of here, man. And we, we might do some live streams later on. I know Rail's going to do Battlefield. I might get later on, get on here later on, do Fortnite. I know a lot of people, a lot of grown people don't care about Fortnite, but... Yeah, I'll be the first to tell you I'm trash at that game anyway, so you don't have to watch that, but I'm just saying I might be on here later. If I'm not, hey, man, 
I'll catch y'all and see y'all in the next video. Thank y'all who subscribed. Thank y'all for the thumbs up. But peace, y'all. I'm out.